Shalom. Shalom and welcome. Welcome to End Time Reflections. If you're tuning in for the first time, my name is Simonai and these are the words I'm compelled to present before an awakening set apart nation. This is the 58th installment. It is entitled Sealed or Mark. Sealed or Mark. I present the case why I'm compelled to believe that the sealed come before the mark ones. It is my position that we will grow to identify what this means. What expectations exist and what must be done in the coming days ahead. Believe it or not, my brothers and sisters, by discerning the difference between the sealed and the mark, one will prove to make a difference on how we prepare establish a ready mind to obey the Almighty Father Yahuwah and how we actually begin to act. Individually and collectively, my brothers and sisters, we who are the set-apart children of Yahuwah will begin to discern how we will be able to identify those chosen to fulfill specific end-time tasks. We will discover what it means to be sealed and why it includes our physical existence and our spiritual state of being. The acts of The acts of the seal will be completely different from the behaviors of the mark. Before I continue, let me say this, that the views expressed in this podcast and these podcasts do not necessarily reflect the views of the owners, management, and or shareholders. With that said, come here and listen prayerfully, for there are things we must and will discover that function for the purposes of completing the will of the Almighty Father, Yahuwah. Many resist and or fight against words like what must and will be done. And even though you may fight, it cannot stop the plan of the Almighty Father, Yahuwah. Even though you resist, it cannot slow down, cause the pause, or destroy what the Almighty Father, Yahuwah, has planned for his children. The sooner we realize what must and will come to be, the better off we will be as we go through the promised discipline that readies us and refines us for what lies ahead. Allow me to read the following. Revelations chapter 7, verse 1 through 3 and 1 through 4. Reads, And after this I saw four messengers standing at the four corners of the earth, holding the four winds of the earth, and that the wind should not blow on the earth, nor on the sea, nor on any tree. And I saw another messenger coming up from the rising of the sun, holding the seal of the living Almighty One. And he cried with a loud voice to the four messengers, to whom it was given to harm the earth and the sea, saying, Do not harm the earth, nor the sea, nor the trees, until we have sealed the servants of our Almighty One upon their foreheads. It goes on to say, And I heard the number of those who were sealed, 144,000 sealed out of the tribes of Yasharal. Now, let me pause for a minute, my brothers and sisters, because many people think that it said just 144,000 were sealed. You see, our comprehension, our reading and understanding differs when we look at the text. But when we seek to discern, (coughs) excuse me, when we seek to discern what the spirit is saying and understand the life in it, we see it's not just talking about the 144,000 being sealed. It continued on identifying 144,000. And then in the ninth verse, it says, After this I looked and saw a great crowd which no one was able to count. Out of all nations, tribes, peoples, and tongues, standing before the throne and before the Lamb, dressed in white robes and palm branches in their hands, and crying with a loud voice, saying, Deliverance belongs to our Almighty One who sits on the throne and to the Lamb. If you read further down in that chapter, you will see it talks about these are those being delivered coming out of the great distress, coming out of the tribulation. This includes the great multitude and the 144,000. All of these are sealed. So do not get caught up on someone who fails to read the whole chapter and understand that he's talking about all the set-apart ones. Deliverance comes from the ch- for the children of Yahuwah. My brothers and sisters, There are those that fail to see the great multitude is also sealed. They fail to accept that deliverance came for the 144,000 great multitude. But soon and very soon, proof will come. And I am compelled to believe that the sealed are many and includes more than just 144,000. With this position in mind, 
I'm also compelled to believe there is much work ahead of us to bring about the fulfillment regarding our final exodus and more. I will speak more in a moment, but let me also read Revelation 13, 15 through 18. And there was given to him to give spirit to the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak and cause to be killed as many as would not worship the image of the beast. And he causes all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and slave, to be given a mark upon their right hand and upon their foreheads. And that no one should be able to buy or sell except he that has the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Here is wisdom. He who has understanding, let him calculate the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man, and his number is 666. This is saying the intent of the beast is for everyone to be marked. But the children of Yahuwah, the set-apart ones of Yahuwah, the sealed of the Almighty Father, will not take this mark, my brothers and sisters. I truly believe the seal has many meanings from beginning to end. Sealed could be the saved ones, the set-apart ones of Yahuwah. The marked in this installment is merely to address what is to come regarding the one world government. One that desires to have you put something on your right hand or forehead in order for you to worship him and buy and sell. Let me bring to mind this, O Yasharal, as end times ramp up. Let me read this here. I've mentioned it on more than one occasion, and I am compelled to mention it again. In 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 7 and 8, it reads, For the secret of lawlessness is already at work. Only until he who now restrains come out of the midst. For then the lawless one shall be revealed, whom the master shall consume with the spirit of his mouth and bring to naught with the manifestation of his coming. Believe it or not, Yasharal, we are that restrainer that holds up the fullness. Wickedness is at work. The anti-Messiah, I believe, is alive and well and at work. But the fullness of this place cannot happen until we are gathered from the four corners of the earth before the physical return of Yahushua Mashiach. My brothers and sisters, whether we're ready or not, whether we realize it or not, we are that restraint and we shall be gathered from the four corners of the earth. I also believe the seal comes before the mark of the beast, meaning that there is so much work to be done. When we recognize that, some people are waiting, well, I'm going to wait to see if they start trying to get the mark of the beast, and then I'm going to figure out where I'm going to go. Then I'll respond. Do not get caught in the congestion. Do not get caught in the deception. Do not be deceived by lazy remarks that will be raptured before this happens. Yashra, O set-apart family, though we have differences of opinion, there are those among us who are indeed able to discern and speak with correction, as they are led by the Spirit of Yahuwah, sent in Yahushua's name. The truth will emerge with evidence. It would be wise to accept those who are sealed have specific tasks to fulfill, while those who are candidates in or who would take the mark of the beast, they have a different destination. I strongly encourage each and every one of us to begin to ask ourselves, what are the responsibilities of those sealed by the orders of the Almighty Father? What must I do what must I begin to prepare myself to experience to fulfill what is expected of me in a set apart nation. The time is now to begin earnestly seeking to discover what the Almighty Father is saying. There will be chosen leaders that will rise among us. There will be a presence of the Malachim, commonly known as angels, among us. The gathering from the four corners of the earth will be massive in numbers. And I believe it would be in the tens of millions. And when you compare it to the world population, that's still a remnant, my brothers and sisters. And many people don't ask, how can it be a great multitude and be a remnant? Because they fail to realize when you make the comparison to a great multitude against the whole entire population, that's a remnant. My brothers and sisters, the realities of end times are unfolding now. Choose this day who you will seek to worship and obey. Choose this day who you will fellowship with, who you will gather with. 
I cannot stress enough that focus and discernment are key to reducing the amount of pain and regret ahead. Walking in obedience to the Almighty Father is paramount. Be encouraged, my brothers and sisters. Our deliverance come. And all that is promised will come to be. Behold, the hand of Yahuwah is rising, and we will soon see in the midst of all the turmoil a rise in 144,000 Hebrews and a great multitude as mentioned in Revelation 7 chapter. We will witness the seal of Abba Yahuwah as it is written. Stay tuned, my brothers and sisters. There is much more to come. There is much work to do. Begin discussing, praying, and seeking to discern what's your part, what's directed of you. Ask questions and more questions with a prayerful mind to discover what the Almighty Father is saying to you and to us, his children. On that note, I say to you, continue to be encouraged, my brothers and sisters. These are the last days. These are end times. We are approaching a mass, ex massive gathering and deliverance like we never could have imagined. Until next time, I say to you, Shalom.